There is no such thing as relativistic mass. If you disagree, you are very welcome to this class. This is a topic with lots of misconception. Even some of my teacher has believed this deception. But in this video, we're gonna rule it out, explain why it's wrong, and bring forth what is right with two examples. We're gonna make it stall, then give one argument to rule them all. So join me, my friend, and give the button a slap, explained by yours truly in a sick rap. Okay, number one is a misinterpretation of perhaps the world's most famous equation. This is E equals MC squared, where E is energy, M is mass, and C speed of light. So let's give a ball some kinetic energy by throwing it hard at a lifelong enemy. Then the energy must increase, right. and since C is a constant, the mass must go up, and by throwing it harder, we give it more energy. Does this really mean we make it more heavy? The answer is no. As you might have guessed, the equation only applies for objects at rest. The whole story is this equation on the screen. It's a monster I know, but look at this P. This is the momentum of the ball, which depends on the speed, so when we go faster, this term will increase. As you see, nothing happens to the mass. If we go faster, the total energy will just go up. Mistake number two is a wrongful explanation of why you can't go faster than illumination. Let's say you have a friend that can push you so your speed will increase by one, and after doing that this many times, shouldn't your speed then be greater than light's? The story goes, no, since your mass will increase means a push will be less effective close to light speeds. Now, this is almost correct, except nothing will increase the mass of the object. Remember P from some time ago, it's the momentum that increases almost exponentially. This is because the Lorentz term, which makes the momentum go up as this curve. An object up here is very hard to accelerate, therefore you can't push it to any faster state. But all this technical detail for just a little ball, can't we just debunk it once and for all? Well of course we can. There's a thing called gravity. Influences all from ball to galaxy. And since gravity is dependent on mass, the way it warps spacetime can't depend on bypass. That is, to clarify, the pull of a planet can't depend on the speed of the flyby. As you hear, this is some crazy shit. Mass doesn't change no matter who is looking at it. 